Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product preview of visual math activities for children with autism, level 2, focusing on numbers 10 through 20. So my visual math activity set 1 was such a great hit. I got a lot of great feedback from other teachers, as well within my own classroom. Some of my students just love it, and it's a great way to really access some higher level skills with children that I sometimes struggle with how to assess those skills, how to really see, can they count? Can they sequence numbers? Can they identify multiple numbers? So really, I had a lot of requests to take this to the next level and work on higher level numbers, numbers 10 through 20. And actually, I really needed this too, so I loved the suggestion. So I'm really, really excited about this. It follows the same format of visual math set one, which I really love because I don't have to reteach my kids the format. They already know what's expected of them, and just changing the content and making things a little bit more difficult will really be able to focus on just that and not learning the new structure of a new type of worksheet or activity. So I'm going to go through the different activities included in here. So first are identifying different items. So how many chairs, desks, so these are all numbers 10 through 20. So there's a lot more going on. You're really working on those vis visual perception skills as well as counting. And some of the items are much more closely um, similar. So they really do have to discriminate the difference between the desk and the chair. Um, so there's 10 different versions of these included. And again, all of with numbers 10 through 20. So all different pictures of items. So, I mean, these are much more complex than set one. And then we have which is more. And again, it's not so obvious right when you glance at these which one has more. Like with level one, with numbers one through ten, it's a little bit easier. You can tell more quickly. This one, they really do have to attend and count the items and identify which one has more. And like also with the last set of activities, there's a lot more going on the page, so they do need to kind of increase that visual attention skill. So more and less. And then circling the biggest number, again, with 10 through 20, and these are all close in examples. So, you know, the difference between 11 and 10 is pretty close. So really looking at numbers that are close together and identifying which is the biggest and which is the smallest. Again, still with that visual cue, which I really like. Next we have matching. So these are with dice, which again, you're going to have to really pay attention here. And that's the point. The point is to challenge and to really expand on those skills that we taught in visual math number one. So matching um, first 10 to 15 and then 16 to 20 with dominoes. So really counting those little numbers and attending. Next is circling the correct number with tallies. Tallies are a great skill to work on because you do have to pay attention and it kind of teaches counting by fives as well. So 10 through 20, circling the correct number. And then filling in the missing number. Um, these were very interesting for me to use with Visual Set 1 with my kids because I realized a lot of my kids really struggled with this. Even students that I thought would have had this skill more mastered really didn't. So this is a great thing to work on even with some of your higher students. And that first one that's missing is always the hardest for my students because they really have to think backwards, which is a great skill. So these are filling in the missing number all with numbers 10 through 20. And then again, this is same as with set one, just with 11 through 20, circling the number. So finding all the 11s, 12, 13, all the way through 20. So again, really looking at that visual attention. You don't need to write it to know how to do this. You can use a highlighter. You can laminate these and use these with a dry erase marker, which is what I do. They're a great activity for the last few minutes of downtime before you rotate. I love these for that. I've had a lot of teachers that tell me they use these for homework, which I think is awesome as well. Um, so again, this is a product preview of Visual Math Activities Level 2 with numbers 10 through 20 by theautismhelper.com.